This young woman is about to embark on the most extraordinary journey of her life. Though not in the way you may think. Whoever is born will have to die. No one has ever escaped. Ashley, I'm sorry. I wish I had better news for you. Uh, the last treatment we did was not as effective as we hoped. The tumors have progressed further. I'm afraid we don't have anything more to offer you. How much longer do I have? A week, maybe two. We'll try and keep you as comfortable as possible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. Call me that if you'd like. But, but how are you here? Your funeral was years ago. You need to see me in this form. You're dying, Ashley. I know. Doctor said I only had about a week. No, Ashley, you're dying tonight. But I, but I can't. I'm not ready. I know. That's why I'm here. Myself and three other guides will help you. Make sure you're not alone. I'm scared. Cold. What's happening? The earth element has been withdrawn from your base chakra. It's now in the hypogastric chakra, converted into water. It's why your hands and feet are so cold. It's perfectly normal, sweetheart. I'm so tired. Like forever. Do you know where you are? I'm in a desert. Oh God, it's hot. It just feels like a desert. You're in the second stage of death. Water's accumulating in the solar plexus and becoming fire. The heat you feel is the dissolution of fire. It's worse than those summers in Arizona with your family. <laughs> Hush, my dear, you're perfectly safe. Your fire has moved up to the heart chakra to mix with the air in your heart. That's why you were trembling. Just hold on to me. I'm close to the end, aren't I? Perhaps you're just close to a new beginning. The purpose of this video is to understand what really happens at the moment of death. There are no heavens and there are no hells. Allowing this soul to rise higher and higher, it's a state of heaven. Death is not the end point of our existence. Death is the end point of our current life. The existence continues. Yogis, they have mimicked the process of death and have had some glimpses of what really happens at the moment of death. The moment that death approaches, first element that gets dissolved is the element of earth, which is largely located in the basal plexus of Muladhara Chakra. Muladhara means fundamental support, basic support. When that support is dissolved, you start disintegrating. What happens next is this element rises up and goes to the next chakra, 
which is called hypogastric plexus or swadhisthana chakra this particular chakra is mainly endowed with water element you become shaky you become uncertain you lose confidence your hands and feet become colder next thing that would happen is the movement of this energy from the hypogastric plexus to the solar plexus navi chakra which is a fire element the body above the navi chakra navel and above will become warmer so the person undergoing this will have cold and hot feeling at the same time when this energy from navi chakra or solar plexus which is out to the cardiac plexus or anahata or the heart plexus whose prevailing or predominant element is air the whole system the whole entire body starts trembling because of the nature of the air element the energy moves away from this heart chakra or the cardiac plexus to the pharyngeal plexus which is located here which is also called kantha chakra now the soul is ready to exit so the soul would exit either to the mouth or to the nose or to the eyes or the ears if a person has undergone a tremendous practice and has attained a state of liberation the soul will not exit from any of these points like eyes or nose or mouth or ears but it will only exit through brahmarandra chakra which is here in the occipital part of our brain if that soul is so highly advanced at consciousness level it will reach out to that dimension if it is not so it will stay little lower in a state of limbo and awaits the next birth 